What is scabies? Do scabies mites live in dirt or mud? What is a scabies free zone? Does the sun kill scabies mites? How does a person get crusted scabies? I might tell you. Welcome to I Might Tell You. Your host, Genevieve and Hannah here. Who is I Might Tell You? First question, I'll start us off. Okay. What is scabies? What is scabies? Scabies is a skin condition which is caused by a microscopic mite called Sarcoptes scabii. So it's a tiny little mite and it gets onto your skin. You get, catch it from other people with scabies. It gets on your skin, um, it burrows into you, into the um, outermost layer of your skin where it um, then reproduces and eats your skin. Um, it so it's the, its eggs. It does, it lays its eggs in there. So it's that burrowing into your skin that makes your body launch an immune response which, um, which causes the characteristic of scabies which is an intense itch. And that itch is really your body trying to mechanically remove the mite from your skin. So that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, the microscopic tiny little bug. Can't Cannot see, see them, them with them naked, yeah, with, with the, the human eye. With the human eye. What is crusted scabies? Crusted scabies is a condition where a person develops simple scabies, catches, not develops, catches simple scabies. From someone else. From with someone else. Um, their body may not launch the appropriate immune response to those simple scabies mites, which allows for the simple scabies to reproduce en masse and create really thick, scaly parts of skin that instead of being a few scabies mites on the body is tens of thousands yeah. of scabies mites in that crusted skin. Yeah, and then once that crusted skin has sort of started developing, um, it can start flaking off the body and then those little flakes of skin can have scabies mites in them. And these guys can then become sort of hyper infectious yeah. to people around them. Um, so it's those little scabies mites then that go from needing prolonged skin to skin contact to maybe there might be a few of them on a table or on a bed and things like that. And so that's when people get really worried about having scabies in their clothing or laundry because with crusted scabies, there are so many scabies mites that they're just shedding with dead skin into the environment. Whereas with simple scabies, the scabies mite wants to be on the human body because there's not as many. Yeah, they don't want to leave the human body if they can avoid it, the scabies mites. So um, yeah. it's, it's not until there's crusted scabies going on that they start actually being shed off the body. Who does crusted scabies affect? Hmm. Well, uh, crusted scabies generally affects people with um, a lowered immune system. So uh, there's not a whole lot of, like, we don't completely understand why some people with lowered immune function get crusted scabies and others don't. Yeah. But usually people who have crusted scabies also have other chronic um, conditions. conditions that reduce their immune function. Things like um, kidney disease, heart disease, um, HTLV1, things that actively reduce their immune yeah. system. Or even just being elderly as well. Yep. You know? Yeah. Just... Yeah. But not, um, yeah, not everyone with a reduced immune function gets crusted scabies, no. so that's a bit of an unknown. Yeah, it's um, a bit of, there's a few unknowns, but what we yeah. do know... Is that most people have a reduced immune function. You have to get scabies in the first place from a human host, and then that may or may not develop into crusted scabies. Do scabies mites live in dirt or mud, Hannah? Let's go. <gasps> no, they, they do don't. not. They we do hear this not. all the time. I think this is probably our most frequently asked question. Yeah. Is, did this person get scabies because they're dirty? Yeah. No. Honest, honestly, like, all the time people say, you know, I go to a household, visit some people, whatever, it's from the dogs and you have to, it's you know... It's from the dirt. It's from the yeah. dirt. The kids were playing in the sand and it's, you know... Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not from it's the not. dirt, it's not from the sand, but someone along the timeline has obviously created that story. Yeah, so somewhere along the way, scabies, someone decided it was yeah. because people were dirty, um, yeah. but it's not. It's just because you've come in contact with another human. Yeah. Scabies mites that humans get, live you on can humans. only get that from another human with scabies mites. Yeah, but dogs, you know, dogs and cats, they have their own scabies mites. They just, they don't live on us. Yeah. We can't catch scabies from the dog or the cat. Yeah. 
can still make us itchy, all of that, but yeah. They don't reproduce. They're not reproducing, they're not burrowing under the skin, they're not laying their eggs. Yeah. They're just crawling around, making you a little bit mm. itchy. <laughs> What are the impacts of scabies infestations in people? Oh, um, okay, so the downstream impacts of scabies infestations, and when we say downstream, I mean uh, when you've got a, if you have it recurrently, um, that can lead to things like secondary skin infections from scratching the skin open and germs getting into those sores. And then later on, if those sores aren't treated, that can lead to things like rheumatic heart disease, after acute rheumatic fever, um, acute post-strep glomerulonephritis, uh, sepsis, all those sort of blood-borne um, skin infections. Um, also, there's things like lack of sleep. You're not going to yeah. be sleeping well, so you're going to be tired at work and school, distracted. Shame, so feeling embarrassed about your skin, you know, whether it's itching all the time or you've got papules or you've got skin sores, yeah. that can really you know, make people stay at home. They don't want to go out and interact with their community and their families and their friends. So then that's impacting their social health as well as, you know, their physical health. So it kind of does impact all levels of a person's health, not just physically yeah. in their body. Does the sun kill scabies mites? No, no. the sun doesn't kill scabies mites. However, heat does. Yes. Yes. So we, um, a lot of people say, oh, well, I've, you know, I put things out in the sun. I think it's important we go yeah. to the house and put everything else out in the sun. It's not the sun that kills scabies and mites. Yeah, that was very commonly practiced, you know, yeah. out in communities for healthy skin weeks or scabies mm -hmm. days. It was put your mattress out in the sun, put all your mm -hmm. linen out in the mm -hmm. sun. Um, a lot of research has been done and mm -hmm. it's not actually the sun that kills the mites. It's the heat. Yeah. So, so temperatures above 50 degrees will kill mites. So on a really hot day, putting um, linen and things in a plastic, a black plastic bag and putting it out in the sun, yeah, the temperatures will probably get hot enough yeah. to kill the mites in there. In a um, hot, sunny day, you know, a wet season but day. But it's the heat. Yeah, definitely yeah. the heat that kills the mite, not the, not not the, the sun. Yeah. But a very common one. So, you know, you yeah. might think it's a silly question, but it's really not because okay. yeah, a, lot of mis a yeah. lot of people are asking it. A lot of people are asking it. Yeah. What kills scabies mites? Aside from the, so you, you can kill scabies mites with temperatures above 50 degrees. You can kill scabies mites with isolation. So that's um, keeping mites that might be on clothes or shoes in a plastic bag away from a human host for three to eight days. But then there's some medications as well that are available. So there's ivermectin, which is an oral tablet that's going to be prescribed by a doctor. And then there is Lyclia, which is a permethrin-based medication, and that's a cream that goes all over your body. And then there's also benzyl benzoate, and that's a lotion um, that also goes all over your body. And those need to be applied um, to the whole body, and all of those medications need to be taken in two doses a week apart. Yeah. And the reason for that is that the eggs of the scabies mites don't get killed by the medication, so you have to wait until those eggs have hatched and then kill them again before they, they can, can lay reproduce eggs. and lay eggs. Yeah. So from a egg to an adult scabies, it takes about a week. Yeah, seven to ten days. Seven to ten days. So if you kill the scabies one week after the first dose, you've killed the scabies that have hatched from the eggs. Yep. <laughs> Can scabies be spread by dogs to humans? <laughs> this one we hear all the time. A lot of people say, I've got scabies and we got it from the dogs. Yeah. But they didn't. No. Um, didn't. Dogs can get scabies mites. Uh, so the mites are still called Sarcoptes scabii, but they're different variations of scabies. So cats can get it, dogs can get it. But those Mites that live on animals can't reproduce on humans. So they might get on your skin, but they can't actually reproduce. So they don't yeah. cause the same cycle of scabies that human mm. scabies do. So that definitely means that, you know, if you've got a camp dog or a dog sleeping in your bed and you're getting itchy, that you could still be getting itchy from the dog, but it definitely means that you're not getting scabies from the dog. Mm. So, you know, it is best practice not to have dogs in your beds, that kind of stuff, but... Mm. Um, yeah. But yeah, the scabies, if you catch scabies, you've only got it from another human with scabies. Yeah. Person to person, contact. Yeah. Skin to skin. Yeah. <laughs> Why does crusted scabies mainly affect remote indigenous communities? Ooh. 
Um, okay, so that's really more about um, it's not it's not about being remote and it's not about being indigenous. It's about the living conditions that a lot of people live in in remote communities, where people are living in overcrowded households um, and situations where everyone's really close together like that, um, and that increases that skin-to-skin uh, -skin transmission of scabies. But it's not about the remoteness and it's not about being Indigenous. Yeah, and I suppose too, a lot of our clients in remote communities also have chronic conditions and crusted scabies is definitely something that affects people who have a poor immune system. So if you've got a chronic condition, your immune system might be more poor than someone else. And so you're more at risk of developing crusted scabies if you're living in a household that is overcrowded yeah. with lots of scabies. See, this is why we're bouncing off each other. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I felt good about that one. <laughs> okay. Why don't some people with crusted scabies seek treatment? So, well, crusted scabies, um, firstly, the simplest thing is they might not be itchy. They might just, that, that immune response yeah. might not be making them itchy, but then... There's also a lot of shame and stigma associated yeah. with skin conditions the world over. Yeah. Lots of people are ashamed of having skin that looks different to other people. Um, so these might be people who um, don't want to show their skin. They might be a bit embarrassed. Um, or even their crusting might be in somewhere that they're really, yeah, embarrassed to show, you know. Yeah, it might even, yeah, it you know... Might be a private place. A really, yeah, a private part on their body that yeah. it's kind of, you know, even culturally inappropriate yeah. showing that to other people. Um, yeah. They also might, um, you know, people who develop crusted scabies often have other chronic conditions. They might be tired of going to the clinic. Yeah. You know? Um, it's, uh, for that, really, um, when people ask that, the biggest thing we're saying to people is just try to understand that there's so much more going on than any one person could understand. And mm -hmm. there might be more to the story um, than just what you seem to yeah. just see briefly when you meet someone. Um, everyone's got so much going on. Yeah. Mm. There's lots of different um, reasons. But I don't think, you know, people don't actively not seek treatment for their crusted scabies. I think it's more of a fact of, yeah, having that education and actually knowing that, that it's a, yeah, that you can. Like, it's a treatable skin condition because yeah, there's, you know, normal. and it isn't normal. Yeah, it's very, very normalised, a lot of skin conditions, I yeah. feel. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's just that level of education as well and not understanding, just knowing that it's different and being like, I don't want to... You know? Yeah. Now, are you going to take a break for something? 